This video is going to give you some hints for session six quiz two questions. And I'm starting off here with the first question and it states, which of the following is an example of a negative externality? And of course, knowing what an externality is, is critical to answering this question. And um, basically uh, an externality is either a cost or benefit that is not directly accounted for in a market transaction. So I'm a firm, you're a buyer, uh, supplier, demander. Um, if there is a price, if there is a benefit or a cost that is not reflected in the price that I'm charging and that you're paying, we call that an externality. And of course, a negative externality is a cost outside of the market transaction. A positive externality is a benefit outside of the market transaction. So that the, those clues should help you answer this question. For question number two, it states when the firm, uh, when firms have the power to restrict output, raise prices, stifle competition, and inhibit innovation, market failure uh, involved is, well, this is a similar question that was in quiz one. Um, and basically, I'm describing a type of market failure, and in class, and in my PowerPoint, I have defined four types of market failure, externalities, public goods, inequities, and market power. And I uh, basically said each one of these market failures is going to be a failure in the market by design or failure in the market that has nothing to do with the design, but it's a failure in terms of the market participants simply do not like the outcomes. In other words, the market could be working fine, you just don't like what it's providing. Um, so uh, the, the lecture I provided and the uh, PowerPoint for this particular session should help you answer this question. So for question number three, I've, now this one's a little more involved. I've got a table here that's listing um, different costs um, when it comes to um, production. And, and the, this is the, uh, the, 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 this is the cost associated with using gasoline in Europe. And so what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at these costs. And in question number three, it says in euros, what is the private cost? Now remember, private and social cost. Private costs are the costs involved in the market transaction. Social costs are all costs that include private costs, but also take into account externalities. So um, here, I'm just, I want you to look at these costs and only account for the private costs, not any externalities. For question number four, here, what is the social cost in euros? Well, in this case, I want you to look at both private and externalities to get social costs. So for question number five, the long run average total cost curve of a natural monopolist. So uh, a natural monopolist is just like a regular monopolist, but there is a unique difference between the two. Um, so if you just if you just reflect on the um, the PowerPoint or your your textbook, you're going to be it's going to be very clear as to what the difference between a regular monopolist and a natural monopolist is. So for question number six, in your textbook, there is um, a worldview article called entitled "Evidence is Now Unequivocal: The Humans Are ca Causing Global Warming." Which of the following can be used to reduce the level of global warming around the world? So in the book, uh, it talks about several different ways uh, that you can reduce uh, externalities, negative externalities. One are internal to the market. One is external to the market. Um, and uh, I just want you to look at these four options and see, are these capable of internalizing and negative externality. In other words, are, are any of these options you see here 
capable of taking a cost outside of the market transaction and get it back in to the market transaction. Get price to reflect all costs. So this is a, um, a, a data hunt question. So basically I'm asking you to go to this um, URL and then I use this ROL URL to go to a site and then just basically answer the question. So who purchased the most allowances? Um, I'm asking you to look at the, um, the auctions for uh, permits to uh, emit SO2s. And so this, this is very straightforward. There's no need for me going much into the depth here. Now here's a graphic that I displayed in class and I've got uh, three marginal cost curves. Uh, I want you to focus your attention initially on this cost curve. This is the private marginal cost curve. This is the marginal cost curve that the firm faces. Now, if there's an externality, that means this cost curve is not the social cost curve because the social cost marginal cost curve is the private plus uh, any uh, negative or positive externality. So um, with that information, this should help you answer um, this question. So for question number nine, the market will uh, overproduce goods that have external costs because, and that goes back to that graphic that we just looked at. Um, when you answer question number eight, what I want you to do is I want you to look at the private cost curve, marginal cost curve, and the social marginal cost curve. If the firm uses the private marginal cost curve to determine output, Compare that output to if the firm uses the social marginal cost curve. So compare the two outputs, and then you should be able to answer this question. Finally, a completely successful emission fee charge would, and so um, a, an emission fee charge is a way to try to internalize an externality. In other words, get that cost that's outside of the market back into the market. And when you do that, that shifts the private marginal cost curve. And so that should help you answer uh, this question. So that, those are your hints for these 10 questions. I hope they help.